like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with another video. This video features Aaron, aka True, and Kendra, aka Sheba. There will also be a guest appearance by Armani, the young lady who took in Aya, Zoka, Efru, and Malia when Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, first got arrested. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. I was always the smart one. Why people be trying to gas me up? I'm an EV. Y'all can't gas me up, man. I'm an EV, bruh. I'm EV. Y'all ain't finna gas me up. What y'all think y'all about to have me formulate my to my I'm Jesus next? Z did yeah, I knew I knew it was me. You know what? Y'all right. I should have been leaked. <laughs> I should have been in charge. Y'all right. It was me. We would have been, we, we would have had the village if it was just me. <laughs> it was me the whole time. <laughs> we could have really been something. <laughs> no, Armani, you let them live, you let them women die, bro. I just thought about it. I, this whole time I've been giving you a pass. I just realized you was the last, bro. You was the last line of defense, bro. You was the chosen. <laughs> Imani, you was the chosen. <laughs> God dang, Imani was the chosen and she dropped the ball. You had him right there. Yo, you had him. She had him literally in her house and couldn't talk him out of goddamn being in combination, bruh. Oh, God. How would you ever be able to move forward in life knowing you had that type of responsibility? Well, how are you dealing with it, Imani? How are you, de how are you dealing with the trauma? They told on you, God damn. Imani's over here trying to get us to leave. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What's up, Flo Child? Amani's trying to get us to leave. Dang. Sweat group. I don't even know what group you talking about. I am group. What you talking about, man? You still recovering. You gotta be, man. You couldn't even talk them women out of leaving carbonation, bruh. Dang. That was your divine assignment. And you blew it. Look at him. Look at look at what look at the result of your work. You got Zoka to leave. Oh, that was your work? That's what you said, money. You saying that was your handiwork? That's who we should credit Zoka's departure to you. Okay. All right. All right. Guys, Aaron, a.k.a. True, is having a conversation right now with the lady who took in Aya, Zoka, Efaru, and Malia when Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, initially got arrested. Yeah. To you, okay. 
All right. All right. Y'all hear, y'all see this. Amani is taking credit for Zoka's departure. All right. Okay. All right. Why she went back. Appreciate that source. Why she came back, money? She could just she couldn't get away from your pork chops and gravy. I picked her up. I did, didn't I? What you mean you feel bad telling me the truth? What is you talking about? I did pick up dinner. Dang. She would have found a way there anyway. I don't know. I'm glad I finally... I'm glad I finally got somebody... Uh, What do I want to say? I got somebody I can blame. Uh, I ditched you. Imani, that was a crazy house you was running over there. <laughs> you was running a crazy house over there, man. I had to leave. That was a straight little divine insane asylum. I'm surprised you ain't had a pills in the little white cup. Had to get them their peers in the morning. How was Thanksgiving and Christmas over y'all? Did y'all have Thanksgiving and Christmas at your house? My dad was like, we don't do that. We don't do that. All the stuff is still here. Man, if you don't sell that mess, man, they ain't going to be needing that stuff. You got all the paint, so they done left you with free storage, huh? What you talking about all y'all paintings? They don't be trying to include me in that. Y'all paintings. Oh, the wife. She a good one. She keeping their stuff, holding their stuff that they left behind. I would have thrown that stuff out so fast, y'all. Who me and that? Y'all painters. Oh, the wash and dry. You can have that. They ain't going to be needing that. They ain't going to be needing none of that. Better have you a yard sale. She called you then blotcher. She trying to get out of there. She trying to get out of there. It slipped. I didn't call it money. It slipped. She tried to block you so she wouldn't fall to her demons no more. Amani, you still got that room. <laughs> Yo, Amani, you still got that room? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Amani? Amani? Amani, you still got that room. <laughs> Amani said, basically, y'all can come back. <coughs> Amani said, y'all can come back when y'all want to. Amani, Amani, this is me. <laughs> you still got that room. <laughs> Oh, wee. Oh, wee. 
Hello, Amani. You still got that room? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Amani. It's me. <laughs> you still got that room? <laughs> Like the room disappeared, like you took the room out, <laughs> like, like you might have, like you might have took the room out the house. Hey, am I, am I? You still got that room? <laughs> where else the room? Where else the room gonna be at? Aya? All right, y'all. A word from Rambo, aka Wild Ketzel. What up, y'all? I'm excited to share an offering that I've been putting a lot of intention and energy into. It's called Wild Brotherhood, and it's a community for conscious, intentional, sovereign-seeking men who are wanting to come together, build themselves up, develop themselves, and level up in all domains of existence. So there's two parts to the Wild Brotherhood. I'll explain it very simply. The first part is a monthly membership that includes weekly video calls, a group chat, access to a network of men who have different skill sets. We will enter Twine that with one another as well as priority access to the in-person events which is part two the gathering y'all be sure to check out rambo at wildbrotherhood.com any man out there who are interested in building with like-minded men check them out <laughs> no I, somebody came and got it somebody came and got the room i I ain't got it no more. <laughs> they can't block you, man. Use a potential safe haven. A money gonna let you stay. How long? I don't know. I don't know. But a money is doing coat recovery rooms. She doing coat recovery rooms. And it's funny, but it ain't funny. She is like Harriet Tubman to these women right now. Why you playing? All they really need is like, shoot, two weeks. Two weeks of you telling them I told you so. Two weeks of you telling them y'all don't have to go back. You know? You trying to have a building, Imani? You think you all that? <laughs> Imani trying to get a building because of my experience. Oh my goodness. See? Yeah, you get, yep, yeah, you, you, you give somebody some water and they say, my head don't hurt no more. Now you think you a doctor. See, I should have been a doctor. You don't prescribe somebody a ginger ale. See, all you need is a ginger ale. Now you a doctor now. Amani, you gotta be. All right, y'all. Going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. Yeah, to rescue your current subjects in order for your. This is really your crossroads right here. Can you save real time cult? You got a real time cult members. Can you save them? I'll tell you why ginger ale medicine, Amanda. Appreciate that, Tom. You want to do more. Well, you better keep that, that coat Airbnb going. There go Airbnb for coats right there. You started, Amani. You list your house as one of the coat recovery on coat Airbnb. You 
you can get your clothes washed, you can get something to eat, take a shower, all the stuff that really knocked that coat right on off of you. You are you a man and a demon? Oh yeah, dang, yeah. But she still got somewhere to stay though, if you need it. Were I ever secretly thankful for the naysayers? Uh, not until after the fact. You should be able to get them to leave by now, money. You got to know. You got to know. This would be good on your resume. Help saved four women from cult captivity. Using my techniques of persuasion and influence. You might be able to go with the FBI. CIA, something like that. You block, but you still got their numbers. Oh, that's good. I'm serious. You might be FBI material. You might be FBI material. And secretly high-fiving. Nah, there wasn't no secret high-fives. Phone calls restricted. What's going on with the phone? What's going on with the cell phone, man? What you mean restricted, man? You gotta, man, you should pull up on him. My mind and be like, what y'all want to do? Y'all ready to go? Ask them, do they want to go on the field trip? <laughs> Help do you hope, man? Oh my gosh. No, I was saying in the comments, I was saying that now that his phone calls are restricted, see if his phone calls was restricted in the beginning, they would have been dis dismantled or whatever you want to call it. But now that his phone calls are restricted and they can't talk to him and they cannot hear from him, and really they don't got nobody else in their ear but probably Malia. Malia is probably the only person that's, you know, trying to keep it going the way that it's supposed to be going. But other than that, like now would have been a perfect time versus the last time, you know? I Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, so when is you going? Well, try I, to, I ain't going to. I can't because somebody might try to alert them. Right, that, exactly. They, that, that the extraction is about to take place, so we ain't going to put it on here, too. No, we not. We not at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going um, to write you on my real page, and then um, I'm going I'm to send you my number so I can have the, the new number because all I have is the old number. And I was like, I couldn't even get in contact with you even if I wanted to. <laughs> right, right. That <laughs> was, was on purpose. Blocked. 
Yes. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I definitely want to talk to you because it's a couple of things that I need to talk to you about. And I don't know if you know that I ended up getting in contact with Courtney and him and I was, you know, talking around the time that it was just him and Janae and he didn't have no babies with nobody. So now to <laughs> for him to still be, you know, kind of in the space that he's in right now, I haven't talked to him either. I haven't talked to none of them. I haven't talked to the girls. I haven't talked to Solar. You know, this is my first time talking to you. So I'm really, really happy because, <laughs> you know, on the interview, I was telling them like how really funny you are, how much you are actually a real cool ass person, like no shade. But during that time, that just couldn't be presentable, you know? So I, I definitely had to put that out there. Like whatever misconceptions you have, I just got to let y'all know, nah, it's not even that, you know? Yeah, no, I, I heard the interview. I heard you uh, giving your honest assessment and opinion about, you know what I'm saying, what you experienced with current and former carbonation members. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And like I said, I mean, yeah, I could choose, you get what I'm saying, the crazy route because I have everybody's number. I have Zoka number. I got Malia number. I got Aya number. I don't think I ever really had Efri's number, but I have the three of their numbers. And yeah, I could call them from a different number just to check in and be my versus self and be like, okay, well, <laughs> since you blocked me, I'm calling to check in, see what's going on. But, you know, I've just kind of been giving it some time, you know, because I've been kind of keeping up with the case. This guy is definitely a carbonation supporter. Yo, peace to the gods and the goddesses of the earth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God, look at this, look at nature. Wow. I'm always around a lot of green. I got to be, you know, it charges up my being when I'm around a lot of green, you feel me? You know exactly what I mean. Anyways, right? This video is going to be about the forgiveness of Christ. The forgiveness of Christ. The Christ consciousness. Oh my God. What is the importance of forgiveness? Y'all be sure to drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go on ahead and subscribe, y'all. Of course, because, you know, I'm just trying to see what's really going on and how to make the move that I want to make, you know, but okay, it was. On. I guess because it's dog. Okay, so I guess you can't be in the dog. Be going to be like, where you at, bro? Yeah, they're going to think you sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely got to be up. But yeah, so I mean, it's a couple of things that I've had in mind as far as, you know, like reaching back out and trying to, you know, just reconnect in a different space since we haven't talked in like, I say six months or so, maybe longer than that. You know, it's been a minute since we talked and, you know, it's just a, it, it, I do feel as though there's a conversation that needs to be had because you got to understand when I came home one day, they were just gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't a conversation. It wasn't one of those kind of situations to where it, like, I knew that we were transitioned. So for me, it was kind of like a bad breakup. You know what I mean? Like, it was like a bad breakup that you don't really have no closure from. And the reason why I consider it that way for me is because, like I said in the interview, what I was trying to do and what I was trying to accomplish it, it it didn't get accomplished because of, you know, who I had against me, which, of course, was Nature Boy. But what people don't fail to realize is when it comes to that kind of situation, especially situation with him and with them, you have to move a certain kind of way. You know, I was in the beginning of not only gaining their trust, even though we done all hung out and blah, blah, blah. We done met up. I saw him in New Orleans. I was still in a position to where I was gaining their trust. And I had to watch the things that I said in the conversations, you know, that I had with 
them just to make sure that obviously some of the stuff was getting back reported. Some of it wasn't, you know, there was conversations I was able to have with them privately, but mind you, when one of the other girls were coming, that conversation had to stop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was a lot of different ways that I had to move to where, you know, if this was a regular person in a regular situation and not in a cult environment, of course I could come at them and be like, you, what the fuck you doing? You know, you need to change what you got going on. We can't do it like this. You know, y'all and women in power, blah, 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 blah. You know, I can't come at them like that. I had to come at them in a way to where they understood I wasn't offending them and it wasn't going to get back. So you got to understand the pressure that it was on me talking to them individually and making sure that those conversations wasn't in the next meeting or yeah. and you know and you got to understand Malia she knew a little bit of that was going on when I was having private conversations with Efru when I was having private conversations with Aya when I was having pri private conversations with Zoka because remember Nature Boy had her in the room you know what I'm saying so I, the, I interacted the most with Efru Zoka and Aya and I, like I said I was able to have intimate moments with them but my concern was always them telling one another or it getting back in a way to where okay now Imani is a traitor you get what I'm saying yeah. then then it would basically fail everything it is that that you know that I'm trying to do so it was just different ways and that's why I was laughing in the comments like I was so close because if like I said, if it wasn't to the point to where they had to continuously make them phone calls, and mind you, I was on the calls as well. I think you knew that, you know? So yeah. that during that specific time, that day that they left, it was crazy because, you know, he called me and he was like, yeah, I need to talk to you. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, you haven't been there for a couple of days. Little did he know my mom and my grandmother was in town. So we went downtown to go spend time with no, little did Armani know that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, was working on trying to control her life as well. My mom and my grandmother was in town. So we went downtown to go spend time with them. But of course, in co according to the cult rules, being gone for three and four days yeah, is a problem. Yeah, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that... That's why him and I got into an argument because I kept explaining. I told him, I said, the only way this is going to work is if you do not hold the same cult standards to me. I'm regular. Let me be regular, okay? <laughs> and just let me do what we regularly do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let me operate the same way that I need to operate and y'all going to be fine. Once you start trying to impose those things on me, now we have a problem. Right. So the thing is, you know, he was upset because I was gone for three days. And I told him, like, listen, you know, I'm grown, okay? I'm going to go where I need to go. I'm the one that's paying these bills up in here. If I want to be gone for a week, that's what's going to happen. So he tried to step down on me on the phone. Like, no, that's not what's gonna happen. Right. If we move Boy, one I band, one sound. He thought he was the choice. He thought he was the choice. Right. No. And Aaron, just, Aaron, mind you, I'm looking at the fucking phone like, is this nigga telling me what to do from the phone? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, what are you doing? And so, mind you, they're just looking terrified, like, oh my God, I can't believe she's talking to Poppy this way. Yeah. You know, so since I, since. <laughs> Since it it seems so traumatic for them, I stepped outside. Once I stepped outside, that's when we really got into it. And I told him, I said, "Listen, you're not gonna tell me I'm, I'm we're we're doing this because we're supposed to be family. We're you know I'm supposed to be a close friend. Like please, like don't get me to the point." And he told me he was like, "No, either we gonna run it this way or or we leave it. And I'm not paying you for the month. And I'm not doing this. And I'm not doing that. And I'm like, you know what? Do what you wanna do. Do what you wanna do. And that same day. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but I would be fit to be tied if I would allow somebody that I'm actually doing a favor, for a favor, allowing his women to stay in my house to disrespect me. I wouldn't have been like, do what you want to do. I'd be like, nah, y'all need to bounce like right now. Like soon I hang up, they need to be ready to motivate. You know what? Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. And that same day that I came home, both of the cars was gone. Oh, so I was like, 
Exactly. So mind you, I didn't even have an opportunity to pull them aside at during his impulsive moment because I wasn't there to be able to tell them like, listen, you don't have to go nowhere. Okay. From here, you can go home. You can do this. I work. I have money. I'll send you there. You get what I'm saying? Like I was trying to get back to them to the point to where their next destination was not a shelter or not nobody's backyard or not nobody's there yeah. and it was just like they went based off of what he said and i couldn't do nothing about it mind you when i got home i called all of them block 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 i said okay i know exactly what this is i'm gonna give everybody their space i'm gonna give everybody their space i'm gonna let everything unfold and we'll go from there because mind you <laughs> When they was in the house, uh, you know, they wasn't supposed to be watching, uh, you know, different programs outside of, uh, you know, Aaliyah, yeah. right? So I had them watching 60 Days In. I made them watch this thing. I forgot what the fuck it was called. It was something about the Manson girls, but it didn't have nothing to do <laughs> with nothing. We watched that. Like, it was certain things, and we would have conversations. We would have conversations. But mind you, during some of those conversations, during, you know, some of those interviews, moments during me actually speaking to them and letting them know that they didn't have to do this you hear malia on the on the on the um thing report 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 no more <laughs> yeah report i know y'all ain't in there talking about what i think y'all something right <laughs> I, right. Nah, 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 report nah that's been, what that is right what that's been, what y'all do <laughs> report nigga that As a is, matter of fact, it smell. Hold on, it smell. It's stinking here. Mm -hmm, what that smell mm -hmm, here? Mm -hmm. Smell like but this here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And that's report, exactly what it was. Report. It smell like but this. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But then, but like, it's, oh, it smell. It's stinking here. It smell like but I, this is. I'm it's trying like, to tell report, you. Report, I'm, report, I'm trying to tell you. So mind you. You know, um, me and me, it was this one time I know that they specifically didn't say all of the things that I was telling them because you already know he would have said it on the phone. Like, you trying to make the girls leave or you trying to do this? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, he would have called it out, especially with him being in his impulse and in his anger. So, no, they never really reported back to him, but they reported it back to each other. And therefore, that caused a lack of trust. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because now yeah. it made me feel like, okay, I got y'all in my home, but what the fuck is finna happen next? You get what I'm saying? Like, are y'all finna, like, it, it kind of put me on edge a little bit because it, it was points to where I felt like the, I could trust them. Then I felt like I couldn't. I felt like I could trust them again. Then I felt like I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? So mind you, like I went through a plethora of emotions because all I'm thinking about is the mission at hand, getting the girls home. You know what I'm saying? Which is why it was, I was so pissed. When you had dresses up, cut back off. <laughs> Why are you mad at me for? <laughs> it was like, no, because I felt like I got one marble out of the jar uh, and then that bitch, it, it jumped back in. Like, I was like, all right, cool. And whether I had anything to do with it or not, one of them is gone. Now I got three more. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, re it felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, maybe the mission, you get what I'm saying, is going in. You know, I it, honestly... You know, we we have some of the same beliefs. I do believe in divine timing. I do believe in, you get what I'm saying, there being people who are placed, you know, in your life to specifically help you to get from one point to the next point, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a big believer of that just based off of experience from other things and experience off of doing what it is that I'm doing alone, you know? So for me, I, of course, every now and then I throw in jabs like, yeah, you see how I got my own car? You can have one, too. You see how I got this? <laughs> you see how I got this? You can get that, too. You know, it was always little jabs and words of encouragement. And the thing is, Aaron, 
I promise you, I know for a fact it was it was getting to them in certain ways because, for example, I'd be in the kitchen and Ephra would walk up to me. She'd be like, wow, you know, I wish I could clean the kitchen as fast as you did. I'd be like, Ephra, you can. Then I'd be doing something over here. Then <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'd be doing something over here. Then I would come up. She'd be like, wow, I love the way you do homework with the kids. I'm like, I, you could do homework with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was yeah. always me letting them know, like, you can do this. Like, and, and I, and I, and I also let them know, like, listen, you can have the beliefs that you have and you all can stay as a unit and you all can do this, not necessarily carbonation, but nature girls, whatever you all can do this on your own and still be able to, you know, do, do the things and live the way that you want to live. But it doesn't need to be, you know, a, What's the word that I'm looking for? It doesn't need to be ran by one specific person and one by and one, and you know, just one person. It's supposed to be a tribe. If it's a tribe, then we all. I ain't even finna hold y'all. But the most unfortunate part of this whole thing is those women don't need a Lee Hill Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God. He needs them. And one, and you know, just one person is supposed to be a tribe. If it's a tribe, then we all have different, you know, responsibilities to the tribe. Like, I, I was trying to let them know you can still keep that, but it doesn't have to be this way, you know? And it, it was certain things. Like I said, they, they, they would pick it up, you know what I'm saying? And I see them, you know, doing certain things a little bit how, like, I would do them, you know? I'm like, okay, you know, we get somewhere. Like, <laughs> it's okay, we could do this, you know? So... But mind you, it was just hard for me because it was it was almost like it was a lot of disappointment because it was like, all right, there would be private conversations that I would have with him. And there's one specific private conversation that I had with him. None of the ladies were around. And I told him, I said, you got to stop talking to them on the phone. I said, you talking to them on the phone is going to cause a bigger, like a huger uh, um, reaction and a huger problem for you than you have now. Stop talking to them on the phone. If you do talk to them, talk to them at least for like 10 to 20 minutes. Don't be having them on the phone for three or four hours and you're just berating them. Like I literally told him this and he was like, no, nah, Imani, it has to be a certain kind of order. I have to have order. Yeah, For me, I'm like, AKA, you have to have control. You get yeah. what I'm saying? But that control is going to cause you to be in, in a worse situation. Guess what? I told them that last October. Now y'all have a gag order to where you can't say a fuck ass thing because you didn't listen when I told you the first time. Now you all can't talk on the phone at all. He can't talk to y'all. You can't talk to him. And I told y'all to stop them calls before that even happened. So it's it's funny to me to see some of this stuff unfold the way it unfolds. For example, when they first wanted to do the speedy trial, I told them, Aaron, because, you know, I was in the midst of my own trial that I'm still dealing with. I told them which one to 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 file and which one was the difference. I told them the difference in between both. I told them which one not to file. And I told them it was too early. Nobody wanted to listen to me. Everybody wanted to file for the speedy trial. They ended up finding out that that was the wrong thing to do and all of them came back to me and apologized it was like damn you know imani we really should have you know filed for the other one because this one came back incorrect i'm like okay they kept finding out Aaron, that the shit that i was telling them was kept coming back to be the truth regardless of what it was which was causing them to question their so-called reality what it is they believe and what it is they're supposed to be doing so, you know, it caused the wedge because once again, here it is. I am. I'm like, OK, we're getting somewhere, but we're not getting somewhere. And here it is. They are. They're in a state of confusion, which is causing confusion everywhere. When it could have been straight, you know what I'm saying? And I, it, it was several times like, uh, you know, you from Georgia. So you familiar with Roswell. It was a time we was going out to Roswell Mills to go, you know, to the waterfall. And I'm like, y'all, let's go. Let's go. When I tell you they fought back and forth about going so bad to the point to where once again, uh, Malia called report. Where then that's going? when they asked me like, where you know, where y'all going? Report. Where y'all going? <laughs> oh, you said, where y'all finna? Where y'all finna go? Matter of fact, report. Report. So listen, Matter mind <laughs> you, they have a conversation. Appreciate it, they have a conversation. So then um, Aya comes up to me and she was like, oh, 
Imani, she was like, can you come here real quick? I was like, yeah, no problem. So Malia, she ends up telling me, she's like, Imani, I know that you've been inviting us places. Because mind you, Erin, you got to understand, like, you and I were kind of similar when it comes to the family thing. Like, I, like you know, I'm very... <laughs> I, I I have a lot of family and I have a big family. So we, we do things. We, people come over for holidays. They do this, they do that. And I was explaining to him and listen, he was almost okay with it. I was explaining to him. I was like, you got to understand when people become family, you get what I'm saying? They're family. If I introduce you all to my people and I let, I let my people know, you get what I'm saying? What you all mean to me, you're going to be family. You should allow that to come in. Like, okay, you don't want them to go back to their regular families. That's okay. Let, let them meet my family. You get what I'm saying? And he was like, okay. He's like, that probably isn't a bad idea because I'll be getting out in November and all of us will be there. And we'll, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> He's, yeah. like, he's, right. like, he's like we'll all be there and we'll all be able to do the we don't really do the thanksgiving thing but we'll definitely do it you know if your family is just with open arms and this and that this and that so i'm like okay like let's meet them mind you my parents come from out of town right i tell them i'm like yeah they're about to be y'all please make sure that you are listening carefully because this, I, you cannot, I cannot make this stuff up. You got to listen. Just pay close attention, y'all. My parents come from out of town, right? I tell them, I'm like, yeah, they're about to be here in 10 minutes. They start panicking. I'm like, why are you panicking? Like, my parents are really nice. Like, they live in LA. They have their own business. Like, they're so, east, like, West Coast-ish. Like, you guys will be fine. You know what I mean? And tell me why I, it was around the time. That, it, that my parents pulled up, right? I'm looking around. I'm trying to find the girls. I'm like, where the fuck did they go? Like, yeah. Are they fucking hiding somewhere? Erin, I go into the bathroom. Girl. They're literally in the shower, like behind the shower curtain, like sitting there, like smiling. So I was like, is this really what y'all want to do? They were like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, all right, just forget the family meeting thing. That's fine. You get what I'm saying? Because in that moment, now, y'all know I got to run that back at least one time. Tell me why I was, it was around the time that it, that my parents pulled up, right? I'm looking around. I'm trying to find the girls. I'm like, where the fuck did they go? Like, yeah. Are they fucking hiding somewhere? Aaron, I go into the bathroom. Girl. They're literally in the shower, like behind the shower curtain, like sitting there, like smiling. So I was like, is this really what y'all want to do? They were like, yes, yes. So I'm like, all right, just forget the family meeting thing. Y'all, why do y'all think they was hiding in the shower? Like, that is so outlandish. Like, who does that? All right, just forget the family meeting thing. That's fine. You get what I'm saying? Because in that moment, I did kind of have like a protection thing. You get what I'm saying? Going on, like I needed to protect them because I'm like, okay, they don't usually do this. So I'm really not going to make it a big deal. So my parents, they came by, they was looking at the house. They was talking. They looked at the bathroom. The girls was in the shower, but they could tell that they was in the bathroom. You get what I'm saying? Like it was so like mind boggling to me because I ain't never seen no shit like that before in my life you know or even dealt with anything like that before so I was just like okay this is a little different but you, you know I'm gonna let them live let them do them you know so after that it's so funny because I don't know if you ever noticed this this place has an attic right so Efru, she was like, oh my gosh. She was like, we should go up there. She was like, because maybe we can just redecorate the attic. And so I told him, I was like, <laughs> if that makes you feel more comfortable, but I don't want you to feel like every single time that real family comes around, y'all have to hide or y'all not welcome. Y'all are in my home, so you are welcome, you know? And it, it was kind of sad. I'm not going to lie because... Um, they would have been extremely embraced. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my my parents, my brother and my sister, they would ask them if they needed anything, if everybody was okay, not even knowing their situation. You know what I'm saying? That's just how my family is. So it was kind of sad to not, for them not to be, you know, involved in that. And mind you, around this time, Thanksgiving was getting ready to come up. They left right before Thanksgiving. So it's just like, 
it, it was kind of fucked up because they didn't get to, you know, experience something they haven't experienced in a minute. And Malia came to me and she told me, she was just like, listen, I know you want to do all these different things, but, you know, um, with us. But since Poppy is in jail, we're in jail, too. And I told her, I, look, look, you look, 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 and I told her in her face, I told her, I said, no, you're not. I said, no, you're not. I said, you are not in jail. I said, you do not have to feel that way. She said, Imani, one band, one sound. I said, Malia, <laughs> that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. So listen, mind you, me and Malia got into a couple of debates because she was like, of course you feel that way because you're taking on a personification of a man. You know, you have your own car, you have your own place, you have this, you have that. So, you know, you're, you're, you're a part of this and you're a part of that. And there was a number of times where I had to tell her, I'm not a part of nothing. I don't know what the fuck you talk about. All I do is take care of my children, raise my household, pay my bills. <laughs> and gone about my business like I'm not you get what I'm saying and I need you to understand that you could do the same thing you can't speak against the system and we're both using the same system you get what I'm saying like at the end of the day I'm not a part of this system no I definitely I'm not working a job no more I'm definitely uh, and mind you that's been for a year and a half I, and all the money that I've needed to be able to pay my bills have has came, has gone and come. You get what I'm saying? Like, with that being said, there are certain things that we were able to teach each other, you know, and there are certain things that were instilled in the cult that I do believe to be true. But that doesn't put truth to everything. And you have to step in and say what's reality and what's not. And I was that for them. I had to tell them, like, yeah, that... I know y'all feel that family is an illusion, but my family's not an illusion. They're here. They're alive. They're breathing. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, like you, you, you have to understand, like, man, it's some things that I can get with when we start talking about the astrological, you get what I'm saying? Projection of things and how to be able to manifest in the law of attraction. I'm all with you. But when it comes to the stuff that, doesn't really make sense in the reality that we're in. I can't really agree with you on it because we all have to kind of go with the laws of the land at this point, even if we don't want to. There are certain ways that we could get around it. Trust me, I found that out. I've been doing that for a year and a half. But at the end of the day, you know, I just had to constantly speak with them about what's realistic and what's not. You know, and yeah, we are on the Florida rock. We are in the middle of nowhere, you know, but we're, we are in a simulation. But guess what? You know, at the end of the day, we're still living and breathing in it. So, you know, we, we have to treat it as such. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 I miss them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, there are times when I really do miss them. I think about them a lot. Because, like I said, it was kind of like a. I could totally understand and see her missing them, you know, six months being around people and getting to know them, building a relationship. That's a considerate amount of time. So I could totally get it, but she has to see it for what it really was. They used her until they didn't feel like using her anymore. We do miss them. I think about them a lot because like I said, it was kind of like a bad breakup without no closure. I get it. And uh, when you're on the outside looking in, I think it can be overlooked that we're actually people. You understand what I'm saying? We're not the same as your favorite character on your TV series that you like to turn on and off. Like, right. you're, you're, you're one of the few people who actually had a relationship with people who others' relationship doesn't go any further than what they see on their phone. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? It's people can think that, some people can think that you're crazy for missing them and stuff like that, but there's more to them than that was recorded on the phone. Exactly. 
Exactly. And and that's absolutely correct. Like y'all are humans. People have feelings. Nobody is a character, regardless of what's been said. Oh, we were just characters. No, you you all were real people and you all are real people with real feelings and real stories, real experiences. And, you know, I I've been through certain things you know, just in life in general to where I felt like I could be the help. And I do still, regardless of how people may feel, my door is still open to them because I do know regardless of it being today, last month or next year, they're going to get it at some point. And at some point we all are going to talk again. Mm, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't leave my doors open for them. Not at all. I would leave a helping hand, like a friendship, if, you know, if she values their relationship so much. Yeah, help them, but I wouldn't let them come back and live with me. Uh-uh, no. Sure. They're going to get it at some point. And at some point, we all are going to talk again, whether that's individually or whether it's collectively. You know, uh, with that being said, I once that meeting is had and once we're able to have that conversation i feel like based off the universe we'll we'll all or both or whatever it is even if it's one at a time we'll be in that space to be able to do that i i do also believe you know in divine timing and i believe that you know it may not have been the time for me to save them right then and there but there may be a time that comes again which is why we didn't necessarily break up on any terms. <laughs> we didn't break up on a bad term. We didn't break up on a good term. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like it's in the air. And the fact that it's in the air lets me know that we will come to this space again. And I say that to say that my door, my door and my arms, because who knows, it may be three, four or five years from now, I'll be in a totally different space in a totally different city in a totally different house. But that those arms and those doors will still be open because they'll eventually get it. They'll eventually get there. I don't see them going as far as the Manson girls. And I watched that documentary, too. And that's why I think it's so funny that not funny, but, you know, kind of I, identical in a way that you started like researching like on, on, you know, on different documentaries, on different cults and how you watch how to become a cult leader on Netflix. Like I went through that same phase as well that you went through because, you know, a better understanding as to what this is, what you all were doing and how deep it was. Yeah, I don't think uh, some people will ever get past the idea that it was just something entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. Like the intricacies of each person's mind prior to coming, their mind state being there, and then their mind state after leaving, and uh, what happens to a person after being in this type of environment for a period of time. It's a lot of things that require you to actually read. I'm echoing to what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. Is there it um on here? I can't. I can't mute myself. It's either on the the hang up or the camera button. Can you mute? You, can you mute me? I don't. Let, let me see. Can you mute me? I don't think. I don't see where you would be. A, Oh no, that's your mic. Yeah, I just turned mine. Is the is the echo a little better? I stepped outside. Is it a little echo. better? Yes, yeah, a little bit better. Okay, I'm listening. Oh uh, no, the only thing I was saying was that to really get a better understanding of what's going on. Now it's echoing bad now. Let me let me drop down and come back. All right. Is it better? Hello. Yeah. Can you I hear me? Yeah, I don't hear I don't hear myself at all, no. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I am back 
with another great read. This is the Goddess Affirmation Book, authored by Janae. Some of you may know her as Nateri. She is an ex-carbonation member, and she has authored this amazing book. The book is available on Amazon.com. Just search for the Goddess Affirmation Book, authored by Janae Newell. Okay, perfect. Yeah. But you were saying, like, you know, people um, don't really understand that at the end of the day, like, this, this, this is people's real lives. Like, this isn't a reality TV show. This isn't, this isn't a TV show. You can't turn it on and turn it off. Like, the women are very much real women. Like, you all sometimes, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the comments and I'm talking about just viewers. You all don't really look deep into that and understand that when you are watching these things for entertainment, these people are really going through these things. It's not entertainment to them. It's what they're going through. And for me, it was like seeing them in real time. It was like, whoa, Whew. let me take a deep breath. Okay. This is what, because you know that my motherly nurturing spirit, the fact that I'm a single mom and just the fact that I'm already, you know, in my Sagittarius self, just an over protector. I like to protect anything up under me. You know, it, it, it was hard to let them go. Because I just felt like, I mean, where are you going? What are you about to do? At least when you all were here, like, I was able to not necessarily keep an eye on you, but I knew that you were okay. Now you're just out there. You get what I'm saying? Suffering in silence. Like what I said in the comments, you're suffering in silence because I know that y'all are suffering. Especially for the fact that y'all can't talk to him at all. The ladies can indeed talk to Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God. I'm not really sure why Armani believes that they cannot, but I called the DeKalb County Jail yesterday, October 11th, 2023, and I verified he can indeed have phone calls as well as video visits. Because I know that y'all are suffering. Especially for the fact that y'all can't talk to him at all. I know for a fact, it's all kinds of fights. It's all kinds of going to corner and, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of, you know, shit. Yeah, MODs, uh, uh, changing the rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, they stay for about six months. I'm sorry that I'm not answering y'all uh, questions. It's just, I'm talking to Aaron. We haven't talked in a while. So I, I wasn't reading the comments at all. I was just talking to him. But they stay for about six months. But what people have to understand is it wasn't six months of a bad experience. It was just six months of kind of maybe like on and off disappointment because I knew what I was trying to get them to do, you know? And I knew that if anybody was able to get in their ear female-wise, it was going to be me. And it's still me. I know they still think about them conversations that we have that people will never know of. And I'll never share. But those conversations were had. And I know in their deepest, you know, darkest, darkest, you know, moments. And when they're actually really sitting and thinking, I know they think about those conversations because I was the last one to have it with them. And that's why I say it in the sense of, you know, not they'll be back like, you know, like, oh, they'll be back like on some weird ego stuff. It's no, they'll be back because we had a level of understanding regardless of them having to leave abruptly or not. They wouldn't have felt comfortable even staying that long if it was something outside of, you get what I'm saying, what, what I'm telling you what's going on. It's just fucked up that if we had sessions of counseling, you get what I'm saying? If 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 we had sessions of counseling, we had sessions of lifting up, it's just like that shit was destroyed when they got on them four hour calls. If yeah. I just had a con conversation with them about how much they can do, what they can do and how they can do it, that shit was thrown to the ground as soon as they got on a conversation. What are you talking about? Right. Imani is a man. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Imani is a man. Why, 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 is the, the, she's the she's the wife of white supremacy. Why are we right. even listening to her? Right, right. She's part of white supremacy. They definitely right. told me that. Hey, Malia told me that one. She was like, "It's okay. You're just comfortable in white supremacy." Oh well, yeah. I said, Malia. Yeah. Yeah, they got, but she got the she got the uh magazine loaded. She got one loaded for you now. Oh, I'm telling you, I told her. I said, Malia, I said, no, I'm not participating in the white supremacy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not. She's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you are. She's like, look at what you have. She was like, you don't think that's white supremacy? Look at the things that you have. Like you have a man's... refrigerator. <laughs> don't you don't you understand without the white man you would never be able to enjoy this icy cold beverage right right she's like yeah you get paid on friday but you already know where that's coming from i'm like malia but it's keeping the lights on that <laughs> we have to white supremacist period so, then, this I'm, white I'm this saying... white man lights we oh use candles either. we don't use the white man lights Oh my gosh. I told him, I said, well, we finna use the white man today because we, <laughs> I said, we gonna use him today because we need some gas. We need this. No. We need that. I'm like, fuck, Aaron just fixed the car. What you mean? <laughs> white man car. Right. Right. Oh my gosh. And listen, it's so crazy because sometimes, you, like, listen, like, you you definitely had an impact on me when, when we was working on a car and stuff like that because it was this one specific time, you know, my, my car had got, like, a little dirty and I was like, take care of it. <laughs> I was like, Karen told me, you take care of it, you keep it. And that pops up in my head anytime it get dirty. I'm telling you, bro, like, I don't understand folks in dirty cars, bro, or dirty houses. I don't understand it. I don't. This guy is definitely a carbonation supporter. Yo, peace to the gods and the goddesses of the earth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Look at nature. Wow. I'm always around a lot of green got to be you know it charges up my being when i'm around a lot of green you feel me you know exactly what i mean anyways right this video is going to be about the forgiveness of christ the forgiveness of christ the christ consciousness oh my god what is the importance of forgiveness Y'all be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go on ahead and subscribe, y'all. Now, now, my house is never dirty, but my car. When them kids, when them kids get in my, and when them kids get in my car, coming from them outside fields and everything like that, <laughs> you just vacuum it up. Then you find 17 more straws back in the back. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. God damn, but um, yeah, I um, I like I said, I mean, people can think you know how they feel about anything, but I definitely miss them. I'm definitely concerned about them, you know, definitely want to hear from them, you know, but it's not something that I'm pushing. I do believe that, you know, like I said, that'll happen in divine timing, but I, I definitely uh worry about them and think about them you know just you know random times throughout my day i just be wondering like damn you know i i hope such and such okay or damn i hope they you know and it's weird because it starts to become almost like a telepathic kind of thing like why am i thinking about them right now Is somebody crying you get what i'm saying like yeah. it, it, it starts getting weird sometimes you know what i mean and it's just it just goes to show me that the love that i i i had for them and gained for them was really real you know it wasn't something that wasn't genuine because i'm able to cut people off in my and, and throughout life and regularly without a problem i don't i don't think about them at all you get what i'm saying like and we mm -hmm. we done in, we good you know what i'm saying but with them it's a totally different story it's like no you know what, what what's really going on you know and it's weird because guess what 
I had a video call with him. I, I had scheduled a video call with him, paid the five dollars and everything. And this was months ago before he got on the restricted calls and you can't call him. You can't look him up in Securus. He don't have no phone calls no more. No, no video calls. None of that. This shit did. Ever since the women put up the videos of the discovery, which was the dumbest thing ever, because if they would have been at my house, I would have told them not the fuck to do that. You can't put up you can't put up videos of a discovery and of the person that you have the case with. And it's an open case, like even with the drone, them flying the drone and getting caught with the drone. They wouldn't have did that shit at my house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, what? <laughs> could you imagine them coming to me, asking me directions like, yeah, we finna fly this drone and, and drone. I would have been like, no, the fuck you're not. Like, why do you want to do that? Like, it's not going to work. Okay. Let's watch 60 days in again. So I can show you how they get caught with contraband. Like, <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that, you know, but those were all things that they did. All that trouble that they got into after that they got in all that shit after they left my house. They weren't in none of that. They didn't have nothing going on. All that shit happened after they left my house. And you want to know why? It was because I wasn't in their ear telling them that shit's stupid as fuck. Don't do that. I don't care how many times you got to report. This shit is dumb. It's not going to work. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Remember, remember the last speedy trial? That didn't work. So this ain't going to work. The drone ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, but now nah, they don't have that person to do that. They one band, one sound. So even if something doesn't sound right, they all agree. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely true there. Like, you know, like how, how much so now it's just like now you really don't have like that positive person, that person that's showing you on a day to day basis that you can do it. You could do it. I, as a single mother, yeah, I don't have every single thing together, but I have it together. I have it together. You get what I'm saying? My house, I done been in it for two years, going on three. Like, I'm where? Like, what's what's going on? You know what I'm saying? You could do it too. And that's not my first property. I, I had to tell them that several times. I'm like, girl, this is the seventh place. Like, <laughs> when it comes from me from my 20s up into me being 30, like, come on. Like, I done lived in different cities. I done done this shit. You can do it too. And if I'm doing it with two kids, what the fuck y'all think y'all can do? Y'all four heads. Y'all don't, y'all not dragging no kids around. It ain't even about that. It's about the fact that they view independence. Yep. And autonomy from women as this bad thing. Yep. So it's not even so much about can they do it practically. They don't they, they can't even bring themselves to do it ethically and morally. So Exactly. They're looking it, at you like, wait a minute, I would like to have these things and be able to do these things, but I also believe that these things are of Satan. Absolutely. And that's exactly what it was. You know what I'm saying? It, it was it was a constant. OK, well, let's find uh, this seems right and it looks right. But let's find a way to go against this. Let's find a way. Hold on. Give me one second. Let, let, let's find let's find a way to go against this. Let's find a way to debunk this. We know it's correct. We're watching her do it. But let's find a way to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, this don't go the way that it's supposed to go. But it's weird because, like I said, they would come back to me individually in different ways and be like, wow, so when you do do this, what is it like? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, very interested. You get what I'm saying? Like, I remember I was having a conversation with Efru one time and me, me and Efru, we were talking and she said, um, she was just like, damn, like, you done had all these apartments and you done lived here and you done lived there. She was like, I've never even signed. I've never even seen an apartment application before. Like, I've, I, I don't even know what that looks like. And I was telling her, I was just like, damn, like, 
in a sense, you know, you shouldn't have to, but when it comes to being productive and learning how to get around, you know what I'm saying, in this life and with what it is that you need to do, like, you need to know these things. Like, okay, you don't know what a, a permit application look like. Let me show you one. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is what you do. Make sure if you don't got check stubs, you know what I'm saying, you know how to make them. Like, you know, like, yeah. I'm trying to show them all the little Dang, it just dawned on me. Eferu, a.k.a. Kayla Buckner, Goodwin, didn't ever fill out a rental application for an apartment. She left college to join the cult. So she went straight from college to the cult. So she never had her own place. Wow, that's mind-boggling, y'all. They gonna have a lot of work to do when they wake up. And you know how to make them, like you know, like yeah. I was trying to show them all the little ways, like you know. But it just went, it went, it was, it was constantly, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think um, that a resolution. I'm, I'm, I'm still. That's why, you know, I was joking in the comments when I said still recovering, but. I'm also halfway serious too. I'm definitely still recovering and that's not from them doing anything to me. Him either. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody did anything to me. When I say I'm still recovering, I say that in the sense of, you know, I'm still recovering from the fact that they were here and it could have been, you get what I'm saying, a different opportunity than what it was, you know? And it went the way that it went. But once again, I believe in divine time. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be faced with it again. You're going to be ready then? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's definitely a, a learning experience. And from time to time, I sit down and I think about, you know, well, what could have been done differently or what could have been said differently or if that even mattered at all, you know? So it just, in a sense, you know, dealing with carbonation within itself, you know, I do believe anybody that has gotten that close or was in it, you do go through like a state of like minor confusion because I feel like I had that, you know? Yeah, that's definitely a part of it. That's definitely a part of it. And it's amazing that people who, I guess you could say, were involved indirectly are affected in their own unique way as well. Yeah, for sure. For sure, because uh, I kind of look at it in a way as like, mind you, I eventually told my parents, you know, <clears throat> what I was doing and what was going on, but that was way, way after. But, you know, it just, it, it affects you in an indirect way of, 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 <laughs> knowing that you well not even knowing that you could have done more because who knows that they could have done more it's just like it makes you feel like you should have done more like I even noticed that like kind of even when you with you when people ask you questions like oh well why didn't you do this you get what I'm saying during this certain event and you be like um <laughs> I wasn't there mentally you get what I'm saying like yeah, you know yeah. I kind of yeah, I kind of deal with that too. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, I mean, I I did do it, and and, and that's why I'm saying the confusion comes in because then you kind of battle with yourself. You're kind of like, well, I did do this, or I did do as much as possible, or I did try to, and it's like, nah, when you it 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 kind of fucks with you because it's like when you look at the results, you'd be like, okay, well, damn, that person is still in it, or damn, you get what I'm saying, they still suffering. It it puts you like in a state of, well, I didn't do nothing, or you know, I didn't, and I think that's where the confusion comes in for me, you know, because it's just like man they 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 t still to this day they have a very very um special place with me and even though i got closer to aya and Efru the most you know what i mean um zoka <coughs> <coughs> excuse me zoka um, she was still very, very far in her ways. Um, and when I say Zoka was far in her ways is I say that in a sense of she was trying to demand and um, 
basically state her position. You know what I mean? Like she, you know, cause he, he was putting her down a lot in some of the conversations. He would tell her like, like, for example, it was one time she had said like, oh yeah, well I'm going to do this to sign up for this so that we can get this. And this was on one of the calls and he went off on her. You know what I'm saying? He went off on her. He was like, see, this is why you're not my wife. You're not a wife and you, you haven't been a wife and this and that and this and that. And it's like, it brought her down to the point to where like, you could tell all of her movements were based off of her trying to be in whatever position. Yeah. So yeah. it was, yeah, it was hard to kind of finagle with her because she was still she was stuck on what it is she was trying to do, and and you know when it comes to people like this, like listen, uh, you just gotta let them do what they want to do. Malia, the thing about Malia, the reason why we didn't get that close was because she had to play her position as well. Like she couldn't show no vulnerable uh uh ways and she and she so called the queen and they waiting on her hand and foot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That would have brought Malia, aka Tanisha Delay. This is a PSA to you, dear. You're the queen of absolutely nothing. Absolutely positively nothing. The queen and they waiting on her hand and foot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That would have that that would have caused confusion with them. Like, okay, well, if she doing it, well, we could do it too. Or you, you know, she, you know, so she had the position and she had to do the whole queen thing. That's why I call it the queen thing. <laughs> like queen that thing. was like the inside joke. <laughs> the queen thing. Like she wanted to do the queen thing, so it was just like I let her have that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes with certain people. You let them be in their delusions so that when it's time for them to come out of it, you get what I'm saying? They're able to, like, literally pinpoint their delusion. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, Malia, you are the queen, but you're not necessarily the queen in somebody else's house that takes care of everything. So it's like you you got to kind of, like, I, I, it's not that I expected for her to be a certain way because I knew that's what it was going to be like. But at the end of the day, like, she also has a lot of the impact on the women as well. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like if Malia was to say, you know what? We not doing this. We finna do this. A part of me <clears throat> and not that much would say that they would go with it. But a part of me would say Aya and Zoka would be the ones who would want to carry it on. What you mean, carry it on? I feel like because the I feel like Aya and Zoka, it would be one of those things to where they would be like, y'all, y'all basically like the other people. Um, y'all are frauds. Y'all are um traitors or whatever. We're gonna stay. Like you know, you don't you don't do that to somebody that stays. And I feel like it would get down to the point to where. Aya and Zoka would get into it, and then it would just be Aya. And the only reason I say that is because Aya, it, Aya was the one. <sighs> there was a specific time where Aya was outside crying, and I had seen her crying. I kind of wanted to let her just do it, but you know, the protective part of me was just like, no, nah, let me let let me go see what's going on. So I went out and I talked to her. I'm like, Aya, like, why are you crying? And <clears throat> she was just like, you know, I'm too old for this. That was her exact words. I'm too old for this. Um, so, what you say? For me. What you say? I ain't said nothing. Damn, it's it's breaking up. I don't know why it's breaking up. Yeah, I ain't Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, I hear you clear. Hold on, let me drop. Y'all, the weirdest part of it all is that I can actually see Aya, a.k.a. Porsche Wade, being the last woman standing. I can literally see it right now.
Okay, hello. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she said, she said, I'm too old for this. And I asked her, I said, what are you talking about? You're too old for what? And she was just like, I'm too old to be still getting in trouble for the same thing and not knowing exactly what to do. I asked her, what, what do you mean? Elaborate. And she was like, there are certain way, there are certain things and ways that Poppy wants things done, um, that Malia wants things done. And basically she was saying, I'm not meeting up to those standards and I've been here too long to be still having to be punished for these certain things. And I had to explain to her, I'm like, Aya, I was like, you don't have to be punished at all. I'm like, at the end of the day, you're the oldest. So you're tripping me out when I'm telling you to let's go to the store so that we can get the things. And you're saying that you can't go because Queen Malia said, no, you couldn't go. And she's younger than you. Like, this is the way I'm talking to her. You right, get what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Like, this is my exact conversation. So mind you, guess my, I'm deep into it. I'm drilling her. I'm drilling her. She's shaking her head. She's like, you right. Yes, yes. Guess who started walking outside? Zoka. Zoka started coming outside. She started walking towards us. As soon as she saw that, she was like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't let nobody, you can't let nobody know you, uh, having any type of doubts and stuff because she already know what type of stance Zoka has to come at this if Zoka wants to keep her position. You understand what I'm So there's no loyalty mm -hmm. amongst members. Like, mm -hmm. Aya doesn't view any of those women as her sisters. Those are potential competitors. Mm. And that is so obvious. That is so obvious. And mind you, in the beginning, you're not going to think that. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to, you know, and I'm talking about outside people, not, not, not y'all who were in, like, you're not going to think that you, you're going to think, you're going to believe that this is a sisterhood. This is a tribe. You know, everybody is, you know, and then once you get deep into it and you start actually seeing what's going on, you realize everybody's out for themselves. Mm -hmm. And and that makes you feel like, damn, well, where's my position? You understand? Like, if, if, if everybody's position is like this, where's my position? Oh, fuck. Y'all don't really fuck with me like that. Why are y'all here? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, if everybody else is so disposable and y'all done been with with these people for five and six years, you know what I'm saying? Where does that leave me? Exactly. And it's like you, 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 in a sense, that's what I'm saying. When they left like that, I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting that because for me, it's like, I was expecting that for them to do that on month number three. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when it went past my number three and it got to four and five and six, I'm like, okay, we locked in. We almost there. And the thing was, it was, a, it was a little confusion because I was like, okay, well, since everybody wants to do everything their way and that's fine, I have no problem with that. I'm like, how much more longer do you think you guys, you know what I'm saying, want to be here specifically and to do that and to live like this and to carry on like this? And they told me in my face, they're like, oh, we're staying here till Poppy gets out. Family, we stand here until we get done using you, fool. What you mean, <laughs> deadline? We'll let you know. What you talking about how long right. we'll be here? We done using you up. That's when we... Right. What you mean? What don't come at don't come at me with that type of question. <laughs> report, report. Where, report. Where is, where is Imani at? Report, Imani. Don't be asking Aya how long we're gonna be here. We gonna be here. The, we gonna when we done using you up and we can't get no more out of you. That's right. it. report, Imani. What wrong with her? She told you right. what I am. Report. She better don't know who I am. <laughs> don't call you Malia. Report. Right. Bitch. right. I understand. And I'm living in your house. But you live under God's rule, so stand right. down, be minded. <laughs> you might stand down. I understand I'm up underneath your rules, Ooh. underneath God's authority. Stand down, oh be my minded. Gosh. As a matter of fact, don't stand down, be minded. Report. Report, right, be minded. Right. <laughs> Out of here, man. You wouldn't want to fake me. Um, and mighty Queen Malia's calling you on the market <laughs> in your house. And that's exactly how, that's exactly how the fact I I swear to God I'm just thinking like Aaron like every time I heard report 
I just I started getting anxiety. I'm like, yeah. why is it so many reports? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might not know. I ain't even finna hold y'all. But I'm going to let y'all know right now, Queen Malia, a.k.a. Tanisha Dulé, the queen of nothing, would have had a very difficult time in my household. Reports! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might not know what time it is. I'm like, what's going down now? Who did something now? I'm like, God damn. It. I'm telling you, the thing is, it was so weird because it was just like, you know, my I don't have bad kids. I have very mannerable, respectful, and, you know, really good kids. So it started tripping me out because it was like I was I was getting more anxiety with them than I was with my children. Like, my children was, like, doing A1. Like, they wasn't doing nothing wrong. And then it was like with them, I'm like, wait, 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 what's happening now? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> at any moment but at any moment for any you know reason and i didn't get that way toward until towards the end because it started getting crazy towards the end i'm like this is this is going crazy it was one time i was on the phone you get what i'm saying and uh 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 efru was holding the phone right we standing outside we talking it's just me efru and uh 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 Alivio's on the phone and um he he's talking he's like you know imani i th i thought i thought we were friends i thought we were family you know you just you're just doing your own thing and this and that this and that so mind you i started getting a little worked up so i went to like snatch the phone efru pulled back her hand she was like uh-uh she was like what are you doing i was like okay <laughs> I said, okay, this is getting to the point to where it's this starting to get real ghetto. I'm like, I don't know yeah. how long, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be able to do this, my nigga. Like, God damn, can y'all help me help you? Like, just help me help you and everything will be great. And they was like, nah, bitch, you are a demon. That timeless. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't realize we didn't ask you for no help. We actually came exactly. here. We actually came here to help you out, Imani. By the way, yep, that's exactly what was yep. told. And yeah. then you know that's what Alihio said. He was like, "Look at this time. You want to waste this time? You have all. You have all the help. You have everything that you need. What do you need right now, Imani? What do you need?" And I was like, "I don't need anything." He was like, "Right, right." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like oh my god my nigga i didn't need anything before y'all got here what are you trying to say like just let me do me like he but you. i swear he said money we bought you all these clothes the video game <laughs> you said we could stay here right and you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? I thought they was going to do what they normally do and leave the clothes. But you know, I gave them a lot of clothes, like a lot of clothes. And that's one thing they did not, they did not leave the clothes. And I was happy because usually when they do that, they be like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? When they leave the clothes, they be like, yeah. <laughs> or when they take the clothes back. They be like, yeah, fuck you. The but they took the clothes that I was heavy. I was like, at least they, at least they got the clothes, man. Because I had so much stuff for all of them. I was like, I don't want this stuff in my house. You just take it. So I was happy. But I, 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 I went through some kind of thing. Listen, so you gonna laugh because um, I was, I had, I had Facetime Solar and I had, I had shown him. I was like, yeah. I was like, look at everything. He was like, burn it. Now, burn Take it now. <laughs> but they burn it now, boy. <laughs> he was like, "Take it down." He was like, "Those things should not be in your presence." I was like, "So hard." <laughs> so, boy, I want to take no the chance. Thing, <clears throat> oh my gosh! I was like, "Man, Solar." I was like, little do you know, I was like, actually, it gives me a little comfort. I'm like, because we were, we were family at some fucking point. Now, I don't even know where my girl's at. Like, God wow. damn. They, the crazy part about it is they only use that family card to get something out of you. You family as long as they need some money or somewhere to stay or some type of device or something like that. Bro. Absolutely. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance.
absolutely. And then that was the thing. Like I was helping, I was helping you get what I'm saying. As far as like, you know, like when, when I was getting my checks, I would put, you get what I'm saying? Like 50 or a hundred, you get what I'm saying on the books just to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Just, just for everybody to feel okay. And, and during that time I was feeling okay. I didn't feel like I was doing anything. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I ain't even finna hold y'all, but how did Elio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three Guy, find this kind woman? Like, first of all, she took in four women into her house with her kids. And then on top of that, she was putting money on his books. Child, she was a French member for real. I was feeling okay. I didn't feel like I was doing anything. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, man, like, these are my people. Like, motherfuckers is in trouble. Are you wrong? Absolutely. You know you wrong. And you know we had this conversation. That's the thing. With me and him, we had the conversation. I told him where he was wrong. I told him the things that was not agreeable. And I told him where he fucked up. And that was a very deep conversation. And he agreed. And we talked Boy, face to face. You crazy. You crazy. I promise you. I promise you. you I promise you. Your it they took got three you. hours. They got you, your man. It took three hours. He got you, boy. He got you, boy. He got me. It took three hours. Man, if you think this man is capable of acknowledging where he's wrong? Are you serious? That this is up the whole brand. Are you serious? That's like no, Coca that's like Coca Cola actually admit, admitting that something's wrong with their product. That's just gonna take the sugar out. You 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 know no, for a fact, you can't you, you can't, know, can't admit he's wrong. That's not that's that's completely against the brand. You know for a fact he was like, Imani, you right, but Imani, you right, you right, but but the way that the universe is set up is not the way that you think, Imani. That is absolutely correct, but the way that the world is. <laughs> 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 you tripping if you think he was so, like yeah you so right listen. and believed it no i'm laughing at myself that's why i'm telling you this that's why i'm telling you this i'm laughing at myself because i'm thinking i'm getting through to these people and i'm and i'm telling you that's why when at the, it, i literally was no closure because i'm like what just and like, are we through here they was like oh we're through here we're done using her bye <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> better hope you get. Better hope we let you into Christ later. Right. <laughs> better hope. We, better hope we let you into Christ later on when right. Poppy gets out. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying. That's why I gotta be honest. I just went through. I, I I gotta be honest. They was there for six months. I went through at least three months of trying to figure it out. Like what the fuck, what the fuck was this? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did I just do? Like, you know what I'm saying? It it was how, really man, tough. How money did you end up with them folks up in your house? Oh my gosh! And then and then what's so crazy is my little sister, my little sister. She had came over. That damn you wasn't there. Um, my little my little sister. Um, it was so crazy because she was on some shit. Like you know, like I don't know what's getting into you. She was like, you know, they never loved you. They're not your family, and <laughs> they used you. And I and I and I went through. I went through a period of denial. I'm like, no, 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 no. See, oh, this they, is they y'all problem. You. Yeah, they got you. <laughs> I'm like, you got it all messed <laughs> up. This, this is not what it was, you know? And I had to come to, of course, my senses in a conclusion of that's exactly what it was. You know what I'm saying? And as hard as I wanted to accept it, you know what I'm saying? I had to accept it, which is why, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I even bring it up, my, my sister is like, no, the door is not still open. It's closed. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, <laughs> they don't understand that. Nah, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm emotionally strong enough to where if I was to call me or Efru was to call me or you get what I'm saying? Even Malia called me and was like, look, I'm trying to leave. And I don't yeah, automatically yeah. be, it, and I don't automatically be like, where you at? Let me come pick you up. Like, I can't, I have to be honest. You get what uh, I'm saying? Say I'm weak. I, I, 
that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm weak in that area. I I will probably I will probably go get them. Well, you SWV out here, huh? I guess so. Niggas out here, huh? This big, I do. It's not to you, I know, baby. I'm mighty ready to go get these folk, but y'all, she read the candy bling. How you laughing at me? She ready to go get Zofa, boy. <laughs> but for real, like all oh you hear is doom, 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 doom. And you know what's so crazy? I'm literally like I'm six months away uh, from getting my real estate license. And you know what's so crazy? My 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 mind was like, hmm. After I get my license, I could go ahead and get that property. And after I get that property, I can do this. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mind, I have to be honest, my mind still goes there. Like, I'll entertain it for a second. And then I'll be like, nah, 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 never mind, never mind. So it's kind of like a, you know, back and forth for me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, I, I very much still very much love them, care about them. And, you know, even within the situation now, like, I really hope that, you know, they okay. Shit. I do. You know they ain't okay. Word on the curb is that they at Mama Cookie House because that's the address that's on Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three Gods Paperwork. Hey, shit. I do. You know they ain't okay. I know they're not okay. They're not I know okay. They're, they're, they're not, they haven't been okay for a long time. Yeah. You can best believe they're not doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of fucked up that you get what I'm saying? Like, you you all put yourself in positions to where the people who actually can do something for you and who actually genuinely don't have a problem doing something for you, you know, you cut them off because that's what he does, you know? Um, he, he, you know, use them and cut them off. So it's just kind of like, I mean, my thing is it, you, you're not really using me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if if the universe gave me a certain task to do, you know, that needs to be done, and I have to, you, you're not really using me. You actually kind of putting things more in the perspective as aligning as to what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, like, I think that shit is dope that you're in school. Aren't you in school for psychology? No, I was in school for psychology until I realized that I don't like psychology that much mm -hmm. as I like watching it on Netflix. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm in school, mm -hmm. so yeah. My dad, my dad is a psychology major, and his huge his his biggest thing was he wanted to understand why people think the way that they think. And him and I, we have a lot of deep, you know critical thinking conversations. I talk to my dad almost every day. Him and my mom are still together, you know? So uh, for for me, I still have both of my parents and trying to give up my family and doing this and doing that. That was just never any, that was never something I would ever, you know what I'm saying, agree to, you know? So it's not like I could ever actually, I would have been a part of it. You know, it, it was always something to where, of course, I wanted to help because that's just in my that's just in my nature. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. When I when I was when I was 16 and 17, I got into a real bad with my parents and I had to leave, you know, and I had to move up to Chicago with my grandma and grandmother. And I had went through so many struggles with, you get what I'm saying, being put out being kicked out, staying with family again, being placed here, you get what I'm saying? All these different kind of things where once I turned, you get what I'm saying, 20 and got my first place, I had made it, you get what I'm saying, my deal to never be in a situation to where anybody could ever put me out ever again. So my weak spot was always, it has always been somebody not having nowhere to go. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. them, 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 them coming for me, mind you, <clears throat> I've had so I've had friends stay with me multiple times, family members stay with me multiple times, my brothers, my sisters. My house has always been on, which really went, isn't a good thing. I kind of cut it off after the ladies, you know, left. But 
always been a house to where you can come get yourself together and get back out there. You know, because I've always, I am a Sagittarius. I've always provided that just because of that soft spot of knowing what it's like not to have nowhere to go. So, you know, for me, it was deeper than them just coming there. It was part of my makeup. Like, oh, y'all don't got nowhere to go? No problem. <laughs> you got uh, somewhere okay. to go. I got you. I got you. You see, you see what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed part one. Be sure to check out part two, which is also uploaded here on my channel. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.